What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoon and today I'll be showing you guys how to blend two completely different Copic colors together. Now as you can see I got some balloons on here. Each of these balloons will have a different base color and we'll be adding tonal interest to each balloon. Tonal interest is basically colored light added to an object to make it look more interesting to look at. For the colored light, I'll be using colors that complement each colored balloon. For example, this balloon will be green, and the colors I'll be using to color this green balloon are YG09, G17, and G29. And the complement of these green colors would be one of these reds. And I'm going to pull one from here, and it's going to be R27, so I'll add it to this pile here. The second balloon will be blue, and I have a combination of blue colors right here. These will be BO2, BO5, and BO6. And to complement these blues, I'll be using YR04. This last balloon will be purple, and I got a series of purple colors that I'm going to use for this video. This will be V12, V15, and V09. And to complement those purples, I'll be using Y13. So these are all the colors I'll be using in this video. We can set these aside because we won't need them. However, if you do want to try this out with warm colors as the base colors and have the cool colors as the colored light, I have different combinations of these warm colors and they'll pop up somewhere on the screen if you want to use the warm colors instead of the cool colors for the base colors of these balloons. You're also going to need some browns. The browns we'll be using will be determined when we mix the colors because when we mix them, it'll determine the value of the brown that we'll need. Because each of the complementary colors that I have here, they mix to make brown. But each brown that they mix to make will have a different value. I would say keep some of the E30s, like say E31, E33, E35, and E37. These are great browns to help you blend with the colors that we'll be using today, so just keep those on the table. If you feel you need to use a different brown, then feel free, but those are the browns I'll be using for today's video. Now that we're done talking about everything, let's go. Okay, so for this first balloon here, I'll be using my YG09 to add a base color. And I'm actually going to leave some space towards this end over here because that's where we'll be adding the red light. So I'll be throwing in the green. And you don't need to worry about the streaks yet because later on we'll be adding another layer of marker so we won't even need to worry about the streaks just yet. So when I apply this red marker I'm going to fill in this space but I'm also going to go just a little tiny bit inside of the green to help determine the value of the brown that we'll need. Like say this little space right here you see that? That means we'll need something close to like a dark brown. The darkest brown that I have that I just showed you would be E37 and that tells me it's a good color to mix both this green and the red together. So now I'm going to apply the red see if it mixes with it. Okay, and then I'm going to go back with my green and mix that in. In some cases you may need to add another layer of the brown so that way it mixes in with the green more. So like I say, that's what we got so far. And it's looking pretty good. And I have a good feeling that in the end it'll turn out great. So at this point I can start applying the shades of my green. And I'm going to start out with G17 because this is my mid-tone. So I can apply this around the area that I applied the green at first. And then I'm going to blend that in. Okay, so we got a good blend so far. Now to add some contrast, I'll be using my G29. And then I'm actually going to leave some space over here for like the actual green. Because just in case, if I feel the blending doesn't look good over here, I have some space to help touch it up. 
So I'm gonna go back with my G17, help blend that shade back in. And I'm actually gonna add some space over here as well. Some, yeah. back in and then add a little bit more of this green on this side and then if we want if we need to we can apply this brown one more time and just touch up some stuff just go back in with some random markers and whatnot and just fix everything. All right, so as you can see, we got a smooth blend over there with in addition to adding some shading to the actual base color of the balloon. And it looks pretty nice. It looks really good to me. So I'm gonna transition to the next balloon and we can start with the blue and the orange. Okay, so now we're on to the next balloon and I'm gonna color it blue. So I'm going to use my B02 and also leaving some space on the right hand side for the colored light. Okay, and now we can go in with our complementary color, which is orange. And the Copic color I'm using is YR04. And then I'm gonna go into one small area and leak into the blue. And that'll tell me what value of the brown I will need. And it looks like I can use E33. So I'm gonna blend that into E33. Okay, and now we're gonna go back with our orange and blend that into everything first. And then I'm gonna take my BO2 again and blend it back into E33. Again, we can go back and forth between each marker to make sure we got a smooth blend. Just fix that up. All right, now we can begin to add our shades for the blue. So I'm gonna start off with my BO5, which is my mid-tone. I'm gonna cover I'm gonna cover all of the outermost areas. Go back with my BO2 to blend it back in. Okay, now that that's all nice and blended, I can go in with my BO6 and cover this area to add some contrast. And then blend that bit and then blend that back into the original base tone.
Okay, and then we can go back into this area and blend it back in with the orange. So I'm gonna start out with my BO5. Make sure that's uh, looking a little bit smooth. It's getting closer, it's getting closer. So then I'm gonna go back with my E33. Let's see if I can get that area a little bit more smooth. And then use my original base tone and see if I can get any more smoothness going. And it looks like we and it looks pretty good. I got some shading in place. I got a good little transition going from the orange into the blue. You might end up seeing a little bit of green there. That's because a little bit of that orange is somewhat like a yellow. So it kind of mixes with the blue to make just a small area of green. And that's okay because that's what we're, that's what we're going for. We're trying to mix the orange with the blue. And in a way, it also looks like the brown that we added. So, and that's also okay. So however you want to look at it, that's totally fine. But bottom line is we got a good blending in place. We got everything smooth and that's all we need. So let's transfer to the next balloon and finish the illustration. Okay, so now we're onto this last balloon and I'm gonna fill in the base color of it, which is gonna be a purple. And the purple I'm using is V12. I'm just gonna color that in. Also leaving space on this side for the yellow light. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the yellow light. And the yellow I'm using is Y13. Okay. And then I'm gonna go into that purple just a tiny bit. And it looks like I can use E31 to help blend those two together. Let's see. Okay, and I'm gonna mix the yellow in with that. Make sure we get that area smooth. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my V12 again. Make sure that blends in nicely. Yeah, but by applying multiple coats of this brown, it helps get a smooth uh, blend going. Okay, so we got that going. So now I can. So now I'm good to go to add some shades to it. For one of my shades, I'll be using V15. Blending that with the V12 and covering a lot of the areas. Then going in with the V12 to blend everything back in. Okay, now we can go with our V09 and add some shade. Now go back with V15 and blend it back in. Well, I might just need to use V17 to blend it back in. And then use V15. Yeah. V15. Okay, and then use V12 again to blend everything back together. All right, 
All right, so the balloon is pretty much blended and everything, but let's try to get this area smooth. And it's gonna be tough because this purple is pretty dark compared to the yellow. So we can use V17 again to help blend back into that yellow. Well, that's uh, just one of the markers that will help us. And then we can go back to V15. And then we can go back in with our E31. And then let's see if we add one more layer of yellow, it should be smooth enough to look good. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. I like how that looks. Because we were able to get some smooth blending going on, even from the darkest of purples to the opposite color, which is even lighter. So yeah. Alright, so there's the finished illustration showing you guys how to blend two completely different Copic colors together. And all the colors that I use in this video will pop up somewhere on the screen so you guys can try this out for yourselves. But with that being said, if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys next time. I